people are sometimes very fixed in their view of what sort of apple they want. They like a Granny Smith, they like an acidic apple, or they like something that's sweet, maybe a Fuji. However, if you give them something different, there'll be a proportion of those consumers who will really like what you've added in terms of the new variety. It's very important to have new varieties. I think new varieties are the new product for this industry. And new products are the lifeblood of the industry. They keep the industry moving forward. We aim to produce a portfolio of new, improved varieties because consumers out there like different things in apples. And we want, of course, to continue to get consumers to eat more apples and more fresh fruit in general. When you introduce a new variety, you're increasing the choice range that the grower has to opt for to go in the orchard. And I hope that we'll be able to encourage the growers to replace some of the older varieties that are really um, more difficult to grow, not suited to modern production systems. There are all sorts of new developments that are going on in terms of orchard management techniques. Sometimes you have to start with a new planting in order to get some of these planting systems up and running. A new variety is a good opportunity to use some of these new systems. New varieties will ultimately improve the sustainability of the industry and the state. The industry as a whole is looking to reduce labour costs. Anything that we can do to produce a smaller tree, one that needs much less pruning, it's a lot easier to pick for example. These sorts of issues are very important to the grower. The breeding programme here is the first time that growers in the state have had an opportunity to plant varieties that have been especially selected for the growing conditions in Washington state. We're trying to produce varieties that perhaps have got more resistance to some of the really important diseases that we have here in the state and also other characteristics like sunburn which is very particular to Washington state. There are not so many areas that produce apples where sunburn is an issue. If we can produce varieties that don't have these negative traits, then it really helps the industry to move forward in producing a better, improved crop.